Welcome back students to another lesson on elaborating. The learning target is learning to elaborate. The title of this lesson is elaborating by providing logically ordered reasons that are supported by facts and details. If you remember to or back to the previous lesson that uh, we studied it was elaborating by focusing on feeling and by stating how we feel, explaining why we feel that way, uh, writing about what we want and you know adding more to our writing by saying what we will do, planning, you know. This is similar. We the goal is to elaborate or to add more to our writing. And I'm giving you some strategies on how to do that for a lot of the narrative writing and even argumentative or opinion writing that you do. In this case, Again, we're humans, and you see the human brain there. We can provide reasons for many things. Just like we can provide feelings, we often can provide reasons for many things. We can provide reasons for how we feel, what we want, what we did, and why we think that something is the way it is. Animals can do this too, um, but I think they do it more symbolically, um, and they do not articulate or express themselves as well as we do. You see here, the brain, I've got some lines for reason, fact, and detail. And I'm going to explain to you now how you can use your humanness to elaborate through narrative opinion or even argumentative writing. As a writer, I think about these things as I write. Do I have a reason for something? If I do have a reason for something, am I able to provide a fact that's relevant to it? If I'm able to provide if I'm able to provide a reason for something and then a fact that's relevant to it, am I able to find a detail that's relevant to the fact? Now, this type of elaboration, providing a reason, a fact, and a detail, of course a relevant fact and detail, you can do for a lot of different kinds of writing. I'm going to look at in this prompt, the letter H, and the prompt asks who do you like to help and tell why? Uh, that's what I've chosen to write about. And uh, I'm going to show you how I can use this elaboration strategy of adding reason, fact, and detail to not only write about who I like to help and why, but I'm going to elaborate now by giving you a, a reason, of course, because it does ask me to explain why, but I'm also going to provide a fact and a detail as well. Check it out reason uh, will be highlighted in yellow, fact in green, and detail in blue. Help. So, who do I like to help? I like to help animals. Yes, yes. I still li help people, and I'm not anti-people or anything. I just really love helping animals. I like to help animals because, here's my reason, they are innocent creatures. They don't know any better. Because, and now I'm giving a fact that is actually relevant to my reason and it's a fact about animals and a lot of scientists would agree because their mental brain skills are not as well developed as us humans most cannot solve problems by asking for help nor are they responsible for their circumstances like if they're abandoned I gave a reason provided a fact that was relevant to it now I'm gonna go for some detail I mistakenly highlighted it in purple not blue um, it's not their fault, and I like to help them as much as I can. I've done so many different things to help animals over the years. I visit foster pet shelters and buy cats and dogs treats and food once a month. Outside, I've helped lost or wandering animals like geese, ducklings, or other birds. Now, this is all detail. This detail is based on experiences that I've had. Um, so a reason why I help animals is because I feel that they are innocent. Um, there's a fact I've provided about animals. They don't have control over their circumstances and they don't have the mental brain skills um, to ask for help. Um, and now I'm giving details about my experiences with animals and helping them. So this is a major part of my elaboration, but giving this detail about my experiences helping them. I go on to write about a story outside of Help Lost. Okay, I read that. Um, uh, other birds find their mother without touching them and I've also made donations to the zoo to help those animals too. Here's a story. Um, you can read the story. The story provides 
detail and so um, you know you can read that if you'd like but I want to emphasize uh, I am elaborating on my writing and adding more to it by providing a reason a relevant fact and then a detail in this case the detail is a is an account of my experience or experiences helping animals all right until the next video lesson thanks for watching I urge you of course to use these strategies in your writing I'm certainly going to be asking you and checking to see if this is something that you're implementing and using in your writing take care bye